Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to use this very unique and very sophisticated calligraphy pen which my co-teacher gave me and I think she ordered this from Shopee and it's so amazing because you can um, remove that part there which contains the wick of the pen for you to flush out the residue or ink residues from the pointed pen or from the point <laughs> so that's what it's doing in the video i already used this for a couple of times already and i'm still not getting used to the hang of it so right now let's practice together and uh, look at that it's so beautiful i don't always use this again because Honestly, I don't know how to use this and I'm very very careful <laughs> When I put the ink which is this is the only ink that I own right now It's the Sumi drawing ink. I got that from Dyson a couple of years ago before the pandemic <laughs> And you have to be very careful when you put the ink inside its head of the pen I don't know if I'm saying the right terms i'm sorry please correct me down in the comments below actually i have a smaller container of the ink which is or you can just you know drop what do you call that or in a dropper yeah in a dropper where you put that in that certain area there and the ink will just gradually flow but please try not to spill and as much of course you have to have your own tissue or wipes in case you know accidents may happen but please 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 be very careful and so beforehand i've already chosen a quote on what to write or some thoughts to ponder using this pen and it's from nelson mandela's remember that not getting what you want is a wonderful stroke of luck and I really, really love that passage or how wonderful it can be that it's not everything, you know, the things that we instantly want in our life will be given to us in, in a mere second or instance. Sometimes it takes us, you know, faith some years for us to accomplish them. And it's also a reminder for us to just trust the process and to never lose sight of your dream or of your goal. What I like with this pen is that when you're already used to using it, you realize that it's just very handy. Although for me, it's heavier, a bit heavier than the ordinary pens that we use. And especially when you already know the right amount of ink that you will be pouring, you will realize that it's just very friendly and it just follows you wherever you lead or wherever your hand leads it to be. And yeah. That's it. <laughs> So once you're done writing, you have to wait for a couple of minutes for the ink to be dry but please make sure that there's no foreign object that will fall into the paper or else you have to redo your work. <laughs> and you know what, you can also use other ink colors depending on your liking. Just to make sure that um, it just flows easily. I don't know if it's really compatible to pointed pen calligraphy. I don't know if this pen is indeed gonna be used for pointed pen calligraphy or 
in grosser script because you see the strokes are just the same. <laughs> I think for me that it's just a mere ordinary pen, although it's just very classic and uh, very elegant to use. And yep, the ink has finally dried up. You know what? This is such a beautiful alternative to our common ball pens. And you see how the ink just flows smoothly. And well, if you all have the time in the world, I mean, you have enough time to refill to pour the ink, then why not use it on a daily basis?